Whether you're looking to save time preparing meals or maybe save money at the grocery store, we have some excellent tips for you from the Idaho Beef Council and, of course, Chef Nikki from Easy Peasy Kitchen. And today, Nikki, we're talking about steak swaps. Yes. What's a steak swap? Why do we need to know about it? So we need to know about it because if you go to the grocery store, you have this recipe and it tells you, oh, you want a ribeye. So you go to the store. Well, maybe there isn't a ribeye or mm -hmm. maybe a ribeye is not in your budget. Yes. So then it's always great to think and know about other types of steaks that maybe are in your budget or that fit that re that recipe profile. I love that. Okay. Yeah. And I have to admit, sometimes I'm intimidated by steak cuts themselves. Yes. Because I'm like, I don't know how to navigate this. So I'm so glad that you're doing this yes. today. All right. And what's so the Ben, what's the what's the benefit of beef? Okay, first of all, the benefit of beef, um, I love and it the so value much. of beef, the right? value, yeah. Okay. So it gives us so much protein in our daily diet, and just for three ounces of. Uh, protein out of the the steak. You have your choice to eat three full cups of quinoa or okay. a half a cup of peanut butter. Oh my goodness! I know about you, but I'm going for the beef. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay. And so that's it's just so much. It, I, I just think it's so healthy for us. Yes. You yeah. you get a lot more protein in a smaller serving. Absolutely. Opposed to some of the other non-beef alternatives. Exactly. Okay. So let's talk about some steak swaps. And what are some of your favorites? Okay. So some of my favorites are you know instead of going to the ribeye um, or you know the more um, expensive cuts, uh, filet mignon. I really love doing a flat iron steak. I love the strip steak. Okay. And I absolutely love the check eye steak. They just have a great grilling component to them as well. They have that beautiful marbling through them still and they absolutely taste delicious. All right. Yes. So how do we properly season a steak? Oh my gosh, I'm a good old fashioned girl. So I just love minimal. Um, I love a good salt, pepper, a little mm -hmm. bit of butter. It's so freaking delicious. But you know, it, there's nothing like we've got our summer gardens going on right now. And so you could do on the Idaho Beef Council, they have this fabulous recipe. One of my favorites for the Chuck Eye steak is the um, red crushed pepper, fresh oregano, salt. You put it right on there, put your kebabs, um, some sweet potatoes, and boom, delicious. And voila. And I love it. So I love good. the fact that you're talking about like simply yes. uh, flavoring your beef because then the notes of the beef actually kind of come through themselves, so right? So My good. friend, you're making something. <gasps> what are we, we doing? We are going to town. So I, we are going to do Korean flat iron steak today. Let's do it. We're going to do lettuce cups. So oh. first of all, we're going to pickle. We've got a fennel. We've got Is that cucumber. what this is? Yes! This is, is a fennel. I know. It's Look at that. Kind of reindeer-ish. But is. don't be scared by this. It's super simple. You just cut this down. So we've got our um, fennel, cucumber, okay. radish, um, uh, carrots, and then you just put a little bit of, salt. now there's sugar and salt in there. And I like to use monk fruit. It's a great uh, oh. sugar substitute. So we're gonna put this in and then we put a beautiful brine over it. And we'll get to this later because then we put a brine over it, we put it in the, the refrigerator and we're gonna get back to this, okay? Okay. So then we're gonna make our marinade for our flat iron steak. We're gonna do a little bit of this Korean chili paste, goju gan. Okay. It's pretty spicy. So if, you know, that's not for you, then just uh, limit it. We've got some garlic, we've got some sesame oil, honey, and mm. again, if you don't want honey, you can use different types of sugar substitutes, substitutes but I could love- Could you do more monk fruit? You could, I okay. love the consistency of it. And then we're gonna take, super simple, our uh, flat iron steak with um, just a simple onion. Okay. And then we are going to just slice this up and put this in. Now, this is where a lot of people kind of will freak out with some of the Absolutely, flips. Absolutely, They're like, mean. I don't know what to do. So we're just gonna fillet this pretty thin. So you cut it in yeah, half? Yeah, so you're just gonna cut this in half. And now when you okay. get to that, don't worry, just keep going. So then you get this beautiful cut. We're just gonna cut this in half again. Okay. All right, so that's the piece Got that it. we're looking for, just like that, and some of these simpler, easy pieces, right? Yes. Super simple. Okay, then we're gonna cut our onion pieces. All right, then we're gonna throw it in a bag. Okay. We're gonna take these pieces, okay? Love. We're throwing these in, and then we're taking our marinade. I mean, easy peasy, right? Yes. And throwing this in. Love. Gorgeous. Then we're going to 
seal it up. Seal it up, mix it up, and then we're okay. gonna go put it in the refrigerator. refrigerator. All right. And then, but guess what? Voila, the magic of TV. Magic of TV, we have one done, so we pull this out. So <laughs> we just wanna take our meat piece, and then we're gonna take a little bit of this onion. Okay. We're gonna put it in the middle, and then we're going to wrap this up like so. Okay, super simple. This is fun to do with the kids. Like, I absolutely enjoy doing this with my kids. I do love how hands-on kebabs are. I do, just put All it right. in there. All right, so example, we're good there. Okay, All right. so you got, so you're, how, so you're gonna pack the kebab you're gonna with just, meat and onion. Meat and onion, super okay. simple, right? Okay. You put it in, delicious. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it on our grill. And this is a medium high heat grill. We're gonna just stick it right on there. You hear that sear? Yes, that sounds great. And we're great. gonna let this cook on each side covered for about okay. five minutes. Okay. And once it's done, voila. This is what we got this right here. This is what here. we have, yeah. Look at Is this that. not absolutely gorgeous? Oh, that so, looks amazing. dinner party, whatever it is, and then you just take this. Your beautiful butter lettuce cups. Oh my gosh, You put yum. the meat, you put the onion, you got your and here coleslaw, kind of. This is our pickled vegetables. Pickled vegetables. So this is what we had. It's got so it. gorgeous. It's absolutely delicious. This is beautiful. This our, is fresh. This screams summer. You also got your cilantro, you got some lime. Is this Thai a basil? Thai basil. Right out of the garden. Yeah. Love. And then make a simple sauce. So we've got, again, some monk fruit. We have lime juice, hoisin, a little bit more of that goji gang okay. sauce, some garlic. And then you got your dipping sauce. Sprinkle. Delicious. Done. Easy peasy, and my then friend. Check this out. This yes. steak just shines. It does shine. Okay. And then, again, this is a great example of some of the recipes yes. you can find through the Idaho Beef Council. Yes. I loved, I loved looking through there and finding this. It was just perfect. Wonderful. Yes. Nikki, thank you so thank much you. for showing us how for easy peasy me. it is. Oh, I love it. <laughs>